ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Hello everyone, welcome to Unibo Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new Stardust tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create an elegant particles countdown in Adobe After Effects using Stardust. So let's get started. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So before I create your composition, make sure your comp settings is set to 24 frames per second and duration 11 seconds and hit OK. And here I have these audio files that we're going to use in this tutorial. 10, 9, 8, 7. So create a text layer and type 10 and let's center this in our composition and you can choose any font you want so i'm going to leave it as it is and to create the countdown we need to to use expression and there is a previous tutorial explaining exactly what i'm going to do here so hold alt and click on stopwatch and then type math period seal up in parentheses 10 minus time so a math seal is round up the value to the nearest integer which give us here these uh countdown so let's preview this zero time eight seven six five four three two one zero so this is exactly what we want so now we're going to create a new solid and let's rename this to stardust and hit ok and then we're going to apply stardust to it and then jump here to emitter and change type to text and layer and choose from layer here the text we created so we got something like this and uh, first we need to zero out the speed so we can see the shape of our text layer here so on particle node we need to give life 12 seconds and emitter because here we see some uh, disappearing after a few seconds so we need to change emitting to once and crank up here the value of particles per second so we got something like this and on particle let's change uh, the size to six for now and we're going to add a replica node and let's connect this replica and create one hand replicates and the offset that on the z axis and maybe just 20 on this density so we have something like this and on a replica we're going to along path property here and let's choose a nice color so maybe this one and we can't see it here because we need to change color mix to zero so now we see it there and the idea here we want the animation to uh, of these particles to come through the camera so we're going to create here a null object and make it 3d and then add here transform node and on this transform node we're going to use inherent motion basically we can control our particles from here but it's not where we really want to do so i want basically to use uh, the null object so we're going to inherit motion from this null we just created so hit p for position and just going to change position of the z axis maybe just right there and here we're going to create a keyframe and after one second we want that to get into place so maybe you can put it just right here maybe and so as you see we're going to get something like this and the number changed to nine when it is one second and basically we need to stop the last keyframe just at 23 frames so here and then we're going to copy this keyframe and just before 10 frames we're going to copy it there so it's hold for a while for us 
So basically it start coming through and then we need to use 13, it's get into place and hold for a while. And then the same thing we're going to apply here again. So we're just going to copy the first keyframe here. And then when it is at one second, just let's copy these two right here. So just one frame before it's two, let's put it right there. So we're going to get something like this. And now we're just going to copy the first keyframe and just paste it right here. And then we're going to use the loop out expression to loop that on the whole composition. So Alt and click on stopwatch and on property, we're going to add here loop out and we're going to loop only the last three keyframes here. So let's preview and see how this looks like. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 10. So as you see, we get what we want here. And let's uh, easy ease this keyframe. So I'll F9 and just give it a nice ease in here. And we want to add a secondary animation to this. So uh, we're going to use rotation here. So maybe just we need to get into place we want it to be a zero. So we're going to keyframe the rotation exactly where we keyframe the position. So on here, we're going to put minus 70. So we start rotating and get into place and hold there. It's going to hold and then minus 70. So the same. Uh, idea here get into zero and then hold and minus 70 and also using the loop out expression here and doing the same so just the last three keyframes to be um, used for the loop out so let's give it nice easing as well And let's preview this again so we can see. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 10, 9. So as you see, everything in sync. And now we need to make these particles look good and to do that we just need here let's first go to this replica and we don't need to apply this color to the original so we have these and here maybe a long path uh, going to change the um, size of the particle something like that we have this nice changing on the size okay and maybe we're going to duplicate this one and for this one I'm going to connect to the same emitter and in this particle here let's change uh, the transfer mode to screen maybe and uh, feather that to 100% and what we are going to do is change the opacity and size and also just randomize things and basically it's just in the front here so maybe you can connect that to the same uh, replicate and so we're going to have uh, we want to have a different seats for this so let's shift seats if we want to something like this and or basically have more particles there and we're going to duplicate these more one more time and let's connect these right here and we're going to duplicate these as well this replica and connect connect it with the last uh, particle here so the idea now we want this to be uh, instead of offset we want to offset that in the opposite direction so 
we're going to offset these to something like this and we want to animate that as well so what we're going to do here is um, create a keyframe here for this offset I'll see on C and just the same here we want that to start from minus 30 at 0 and right here get to 0 so we don't have any duplicates copy these and paste it right here and here going to back to minus 30 and just copy these keyframes right here and use the same expression here so going to use the loop out and just loop the last three keyframes 10 9 8 7, seven 6 5 4 3 2 what we're going to do now is add in here a uh, turbulence node and connect it to this second replica and maybe here we want to have some uh, off sound position and randomizing that so it look like kind of randomized as you see give us really nice looking than just how it was and we're going to add another turbulence and we want these to be connected to the first one and what we want to do here is trigger the turbulence using this beep sound so we're going to create a keyframe so keyframes assistant and convert audio to keyframes so here we have these channels and so just on this turbulence we're going to hold alt and click on stopwatch for position offset and link that to the both channels and multiply that by 20 or any number you think it's going to work for you so now we're going to get like some kind of uh, distribution here for these replicates and it's going to be like a transition to the next number so let's preview and see how this looks like 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 so as you see the turbulence node add a nice transition effect there for the particles and we can just do a few adjustments here maybe add more particles per second and do a few adjustments to the particle nodes to make it look good enough for us and on a replica node we can also do a few adjustments so maybe add more density and change the offset and also on random properties we can there change the position and scale and opacity uh, properties to randomize the look for the particles and we can make it very very interesting by enable here the motion blur it's going to be heavy to render here it's going to take time so you see we get very nice good lock in here and here we have on a render settings we have motion blur uh, settings so we can get more samples and maybe put this to one again so we can have more brighter uh, look for that as you see and maybe this is too heavy to render so I'm not going to keep it enabled so what we're going to do now is uh, create adjustment layer and let's add a glow effect and let's get a nice glow here so maybe about five there and control D to duplicate this one so this time maybe point two just a quick glow and we're going to add a lumetry color and on creative we're going to add this look 
So we're going to look for a uh, gold orange lot here. So we're going to use it to get these nice cool uh, colors. And let's rename this to color correction. And maybe we can add a camera here and enable depth of field to give the particles a nice depth of field. So let's preview and see how this looks like. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. So as you see, we get this result and maybe it's too hot and maybe it's too bright. So we're going to do a few adjustment here. So maybe on close settings or particle nodes or replica nodes. So it just depends on the look we're looking for. Adding motion blur is going to make things look good. And so this was sort of today. Hope the idea was clear and helpful for you guys. If you have any question, just comment and I will do my best to be responsive. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon and thank you for watching.